Right then guys, I've been told to I've been told off for not saying my name's Alan Hart. So there you go, my name's Alan Hart. Today we're gonna look at um different fittings for press fittings. Um there's a lot of talk about press fit um and which guns to use, but not much talk about fittings and the differences between the fittings. So I just thought I'd do a short just a short video just to show you the the differences so we've got here we've got a press T which is a Yorkshire a Yorkshire T now in comparison there to an end feed T as you can see there's n it's not a great deal bigger it is obviously it is a little bit bigger uh, and then going to your elbows there so obviously your elbows, your elbows are, are quite a bit bigger. So there, what the differences would be with your elbows. So obviously, it's not for everyone. Some people think the fittings look terrible. Personally, I like them. I like the fact that there's no burn marks on the pipes. Um, I like the fact there's no solder flux, there's no flux going into your system. I personally believe that a lot of problems we have with central heating is that we're allowing the flux into the system and that is causing a lot of the problems because people don't flush it out. When we install a new system, um, I believe that you should try and get all that flux out. Obviously with these fittings you don't need to. Um, so that's just a little bit of a difference with that. and then. Just to show you inside of these, if you're using it for gas, it's a bit hard to see on there, but it actually says gas on it, and you have a yellow o ring inside. So you can just buy fittings like that that push into a 22T, or you can have T's with reducers on like you can normally. If you use Gimbrick fittings, they come with a yellow cap on them so it's clear that they're for gas um, I actually prefer these Gebret fittings I think the quality of them is much better than any of the fittings that I've used uh, I like the fact that it's got this on the outside this white bit because when you crimp it your fittings your jaws don't stick to the fittings which I find is very good um, they also come in 45s and um, to be honest I've got a little bit lazy and I've started to use 45s rather than bending it's just easier um, it's a little bit lazy really and really I should I should bend them but um, I just like to make it easy for myself really um, and then when you look at the Yorkshire ones the Yorkshire ones are not round on the end of them and when you crimp them they actually you crimp them and they go they go round then um, whereas the Gebrit ones they are round but when you crimp that this you take this off so you know it's crimped um, and the gas fittings the gas fittings on Gebrit they're round So just, just a little look at fittings really. Um, if you do have any questions at all, just message me and I'll try and do a video just to answer any questions that you've got. I'm not saying that I'm an expert on any of this. Um, I'm quite new to it myself. I do find it's very good. I like it. Um, it's easier. It's cleaner. Um, sometimes it's a little bit awkward to get in. But I tend to find that what I do is... I just crimp stuff off and then just place it where I want it and works well for me. Um, okay, thanks very much.